I'd like to explain how you can use uh, Newton's third law um, again in your golf swing. And uh, again, one more time, Newton's third law of motion is that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So if I were to push down on this, the butt end of this club, then then this club head comes up. If I push down on the club head, then the the um, butt end of the club comes up or the grip end. So um, let's look at that and how it can help us with our swing plane. When you set up to a golf ball, obviously we have some tilt in our spine. We're, we're bent over to face the ground, and the club is on an angle, and we, we swing, swing on an inclined plane. So most of you will understand once you, once you get to playing golf that you kind of want to keep that club swinging on that plane as much as possible. It makes things work easier in your golf swing. So um, one of the most common things that you see people do is they roll – they roll the hands right away in the, in the beginning of their backswing and you get the club to the inside. And then a lot of times what you'll hear is you'll hear the instructor say, well, you need to swing the club more upright because you're getting it too, too flat or laid off. So um, one of the things that people will generally do then, you'll, you'll see them try to, try to lift the, the club up by lifting the hands. And if you see the club too low, the club head too low, your mind says, well, lift the club head. And, and uh, sometimes that actually works worse because uh, if you looked at, at what happens is if your hands are attached to to the butt end of the club and you try to lift the club head, you're you're really not lifting the club head as much as you think. You're you're lifting the handle, and sometimes that has that equal and opposite reaction where 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 it it lowers the club head. So in reality, what you might want to think about, if you see your club head getting a little bit to the inside, you might want to think about keeping your hands down. Don't worry about lifting the club head. The club head's going to come up. If I keep my hands down, you can see the club head now is, is more up. And the other thing you have to watch out for is not rolling the wrists. So you just want to take the club back and, and try to keep, uh, keep from, from rolling your wrists right away in the very first part of the backswing. So you start having some some rotation of your forearms like that and that'll get the club head low into the inside so the first part of the swing what I like to teach is is that the, the every piece takeaway which you can see in one of my other um, um, videos but if you take the club back by rotating your, your back and your shoulders and try not to do anything with your arms or hands you can keep the butt end of the club lower and you can see then the the, the, the head of the club stays more on on the plane that it's supposed to and once you give it momentum going away from the target then you just let it swing and hinge and you get on a nice swing plane at the top um, without manipulating your arms hands or lifting the club head or doing um, um, drastic to to affect the swing plane so that right there should give you an, a, a good understanding if I can keep the, the butt end down by keeping my arms extended down and away then the club head comes up which is the opposite of having your club head low and trying to lift it by lifting your hands because then you just get all kinds of, of bad motion. So keep your hands down and the club head will come up because of the uh, Newton's third law. Uh, if I keep my hands down, the club head comes up. So that would, that would happen in my, in my backswing right here. And you can see it with someone like Furyk. Furyk keeps his hands low and he gets the club head almost outside. It comes up so, so quickly. All right. So... That'll help you understand how to get that club more on plane as you're swinging away from the ball during your backswing.